was wondering if you had the copies of the court order and stuff for me. Do I have copies of the court order? Yes. And you speaking of the court order of? To remove my kids? No, there is no court order. But I didn't consent to it. Right. And you, you, of course you wouldn't consent to it, right? Who would consent? And what said, you wouldn't consent to it, right? Right. You tried right. coercing into consenting and I wouldn't. So you can't remove them. Well, we can remove them. No, not according to the law. Have sole legal custody. Yes. That that has not been established. Yes, it has. It has been established. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's neither here nor there. Okay. No, it is here or, and it is there. Because are, are you are you gonna let me speak? <laughs> sure. Are you gonna let me speak? Right now, that's neither here nor there. Okay. What we did when we saw you, it was a, it was a matter of you uh, not supervising the children. And no, no matter what the case is, no matter what the case may be, the children could no longer be in your care because of that. Sir, there is precedent case in the Supreme Court of North Carolina. Robert Orr decided in the Stumbo decision. So there's precedent case that a child escaping does not constitute non-supervision, nor does it constitute the grounds for abuse or neglect or removal of children. Okay. So, clearly I've talked to my, That's where my kids are. Okay. You put them in the hands of a habitual felon. On top of that, neither of you... When, when I, you first came, I said, well, of course there's no marks. You should have... You, the report was made three weeks ago. And she okay. said, we just got the report. Well, guess what? The statute of limitations in the state of North Carolina indicates that you have 24 hours to 72 tops max from the time the report is made by a mandated reporter to investigate. Which we did. No, you didn't. That report was made three weeks ago. Okay. And you ignored it, which put my kids in jeopardy. So I am going to need you because we haven't, I haven't consented to any of this. I have sole custody of my kids. I was approved for a house today. I still have my job. So I'm going to need my kids to be released to my care today. No, that won't happen. That's not legal. You, will, you can lose your job for that or be sued. Okay, we'll see. we'll see. Would you like to go look at it with me? So that's the same home we spoke about earlier. Yep. Yeah. Okay, but you've not moved in as of yet. No, but that's irrelevant. I still have sole legal custody of my children. When is it that you're supposed to be moving in? They're going to make the moving date. So the moving date was for the 4th, but they said I could bump it up to whenever I want to. Okay, so when are you going to move in? Immediately. I've already started packing up the house on 6710. You have placed children who have and who have relatives on the, the list of the disappeared from the Holocaust in the care of somebody who thinks that giving the Sig Heil is appropriate. I have photos of his entire family giving the Sig Heil. You have put them in the hands of someone who has abused them and abused their mother. Okay. And you don't have a definite date of when you're going to move in. I'm moving in as pretty much today. My church is going to get in contact with me this evening. We're going to move in. It doesn't matter, though. I still have sole legal custody, which means my kids have actually been abducted. That's the law. Your kids have been abducted. That's what my attorney said. If you don't have a definite move, you say you're going to move in. So, so if I speak with you tomorrow, you'll be in your in your home. Obviously, we'll be finished moving in. Like it takes time. You have to unpack and set up furniture and do all that. But that's irrelevant. It is irrelevant. Okay. Once you get moved in, and no, we sir. Have... You don't have the grounds to do this or for a restraining order violation. So I'm going to need my kids put back in my care. The magistrate's already ready to take out the charges. Okay, so so when you are moved in and you are, are verified that you have that and we verify that you moved in, we'll be speaking with you at that point. No, sir. That's not how yeah. this is going to... No? For what? A restraining order violation. It's already been verified by the magistrate. They're ready to take the charges out. I want my children. How did he violate the restraining order? You know, you can, you can talk to the officers about that once the charges are taken out. How about that? Okay, I'll do that then. They made contact with my family, and it, it truly is irrelevant. It is irrelevant. My kids are to be returned to me immediately. Who's the officer that was making the arrest? 
none of your business. How about that? Okay, we'll call the magistrate's office. You can run ahead. The, the officer doesn't come on duty until five. And I'm not giving you any more information than what you've already got. Return my children. That's the bottom line. Because everything else is irrelevant. Nothing else matters. Return the kids. We'll not. We will not. So you are going to hold my kids illegally away from me? No, ma'am. We're not holding your kids illegally. Yes, you are. Absolutely, you are. According to my attorney, yes, you are. Who's your attorney? Yes. Yeah. I'm not giving you my attorney's number. He works. He works as the as the uh, DSS liaison for. You said this is Rockingham County. One of them, sure. <laughs>